Hello my wonderful crafty friends. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to come by to do the tutorial for these pouches that I made. I received some requests and I'm going to do a tutorial by explanation because it takes a lot of sewing and the video would really be really long to actually do the sewing on camera okay so hopefully this helps any questions that you may have um, that I did not clarify please leave a comment I will be happy to explain it or you know to show a video on that particular item that you're questioning but this is what what happens okay so basically to start with you're gonna need three pieces of acetate or vinyl whichever one you prefer to do mine is vinyl I buy this vinyl at Walmart um, it's on this big old roll here I cut it down so it's a little smaller now but I I uh, picked up the pink paper one because it's not as thick as the black paper one that you use for the TNs so this one's a little thinner and a little bit less heavy but it's like three bucks at Walmart you get I bought two big yards and so so what I did was I cut um, you know cut three pieces um, and I put them together okay so then basically these pouches guys are about 13 and 1 8 length and seven across so basically what you want to do is you want to um, cut it a little bigger you always want to go bigger because you know you want to make sure you got enough space there's no mistakes and you can actually you know make it a little wider if you want it's up to you I'm gonna give myself a little light here um, so let's let's get started so I got three pieces of my um, of my vinyl here okay as you can see they're all the same size I cut them all evenly but they're bigger than the size of the pouch so basically what you do is you take one out and you take the two that are main and what you're gonna do with this two is don't mind the sewing on this one because I was doing something a little different and so I want to make sure that you guys don't don't sew it all up before you know you're done so basically what I do with this these two pieces is this is what what happens you cut one piece okay you're gonna cut this one these two pieces like this okay so basically this is my pouch and I'm going to give you the measurement on the inside okay so basically you're gonna cut ten and a quarter okay this is ten and a quarter so this one's ten and a quarter okay and then like I said it's gonna be seven across as you can see here but I always leave a little bit extra okay and then the flap the little pocket flap on the top is going to be um, seven across and then um, the depth is um, let's say it's gonna be three and a half okay and you can make it longer if you want it longer it's up to you whatever size you want to make it but this is three and a half okay so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut this piece into this okay so this is what you're gonna get once you cut the pieces so basically measure three and a half if you leave it longer then remember you always have to count that piece so um, as you can see mine is longer so I cut it three and a half and then I cut this one ten and a quarter yeah ten and a quarter right that's what I said let me make sure because I want to give you the wrong measurements yes ten and a quarter okay so basically what you do is this don't go and sew it around this is for something else but um, it's the same size so basically what you're gonna do is you're going to take these two pieces that you cut which is this in my hand and you're going to sew this bottom part you're gonna sew here first okay so it's gonna look like this one okay then you're going to sew this one and you're gonna sew 
you're basically going to sew um, up to 10 and a quarter. Or you can sew all the way up because you're going to cut it diagonally. So I would sew it all the way up to make sure if you want it this, this way. To have these cuts here, you can sew all the way up and then you can um, sew it diagonally or whichever way you want to call this after okay so you can sew up and then sew this way after you cut the piece off okay so basically once you have your pocket sewn on two sides let's say this is cut already and you're gonna have this one only don't sew without sewing your third piece okay so basically you got these two pieces cut out let's say okay out of the two pieces Hopefully I'm not confusing you. So basically, you're gonna take this two pieces, these are, these are your cutouts. So we're gonna put that to the side and this is what you're gonna get. Okay guys? So you're gonna bring your third piece out and you're going to put this on it evenly, even them out. And this one just put to the side for now, okay? So even it out and then go ahead and sew the bottom, you're gonna sew the bottom across, you're gonna sew the bottom on the side, okay? And then, um, I'm sorry, I confused, I confused myself. What you're gonna do with this is you're gonna sew the top portion because that's what's gonna lock here, okay guys? That was my mistake. So basically, you're gonna take your third portion of your vinyl, you're going to put the piece you sewed already because this has to be sewed first okay because that's your opening to your pocket so you're going to sew this and you're going to sew one side not both one side okay and then you're going to sew the bottom so basically you're going to have this side open to put your sequence in okay so remember you're going to sew three sides the top before you link it don't don't sew it onto your third piece you're going to sew the second and the third with the third piece okay guys because this is going to be your opening for your pocket okay like this this is basically what i'm telling you to do so this side the bottom leave this one open and this stays open okay this pocket you're going to leave open so that you can put your sequence in once your sequence is in you're going to go like this to your pocket and you're going to sew this side and once you sew those three sides, this is what you're gonna have. You're gonna have your open pocket without this, okay? So, basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna sew one, two, and this is already sewn. This is gonna be the first thing you sew is the top, okay? So that's your third one. So then, you're gonna take this part, open it, you're gonna pour your sequence in here, and then you're gonna sew these three together again. Okay, once you sew it all, you're going to have the open pocket only. Everything else is going to be sealed. Okay? So again, you sew one first without the third piece. You sew the second, third with the third, the three pieces. And then once the sequence is in, you're going to sew the fourth one. Okay? With the third piece. Then next, once you have it all sewn, you're going to take this piece and you're going to you're going to now let me explain something these two vinyls when you cut them this shape or you can even cut them straight to make it easier for you you can cut them straight and sew this piece these two pieces here just leave a one eighth gap so that when you fold it it folds good so leave a one eighth gap here and let's say this piece was straight don't sew the sides okay just sew the one eighth piece to the third portion of your vinyl okay hopefully I'm not um, confusing you it's just very hard to do when you when you're not sewing it at the time you're explaining so leave your vinyl piece square don't don't cut it diagonal yet leave your vinyl piece square sew at 1 8 here so that you can have that tiny gap to fold your pocket okay once you sew the bottom then you're going to take um, you're going to take either a ruler or some tape and mark your diagonal piece. 
Now remember, you're going to diagonal it from corner to corner. So this piece, you're going to, let's say you got one eighth there, you're gonna go one eighth, you're gonna go diagonal from the end of the pocket, okay? So when you cut it, it looks like this, basically, okay? So you're gonna go one eighth here, and you're gonna sew, and then you're gonna sew up and up and leave the top open for your sequence, okay guys? Then, once you got it all sewn, into the third pocket, I mean the third vinyl, then you can put your sequins or you can go ahead and trim the edges, whichever way you want to do it. Um, I put the sequins in first. So you have your one eighth gap, you put your sequins in here, okay, in the, the pocket, leaving your third piece out, okay guys? Once you got your sequins in there, you know, go like that, tap it all down, and then this piece is going to be attached already. So you don't have to worry about that no longer. You're going to worry about not spilling your sequins out of the top. So then what you want to do is you want to sew your top portion to seal your pocket like this. You're going to seal your pocket here. And you're going to have your little sequins pocket up over here. So then what you want to do is you can leave it square. You can diagonal cut it here, like I did. You know, do whatever you want. Whatever you like, the shape you like, that's what you do. So then once this is all sewn and cut, it's gonna go, here's your pocket. So this is going to transform into this. Now remember, your sequence is already gonna be in here. Okay, so it's gonna look just like this. Then what I did was, if you don't have snaps, you can use Velcro. Just lift your pocket, put a Velcro piece here, and then what I do is I turn it around and I mark my spot there, and then I turn it back around, I lift my pocket, and I put my other piece where I see that mark. So they, they close really good, okay? Then what you wanna do is once you have your snap or your Velcro, whichever one you want, then your pocket is done. So all you gotta do now is just trim all this excess vinyl. All this excess vinyl you can trim off the sides and the bottom. And this is what you're going to have. You're gonna have your pocket and you can make a bow. You can put trim, pom-poms, you know. I was thinking about putting pom-poms on this one. Or you can even use the tassel, um, the tassel, uh, what do you call it? Um, let me let me get it so that I can show you. A tassel ribbon. You can use this one. Where's my tassel ribbon? You can use so many pretty ribbons for it, guys. Like this one. You can use this one. You can use any one that you want. See, you can even use this one. Put it around here. And the sides. I've seen so many people use so many ones you can do this one you can do pom-poms it's just you know your preference but i hope that i explained it um where you understand what i did um i was gonna do it step by step and sewing it but it takes so long to put it together you know and explaining everything on camera the video will probably go into two or three parts so this is how I did it. Now remember, a quick a quick review. You're gonna take your two vinyls, you're gonna sew one top part, that's gonna be your opening for your pocket. You're gonna sew, once you sew this one top part, you're gonna bring it back, even it out. Then you're gonna take your whole third piece of vinyl, you're gonna sew second, third, and you're gonna leave fourth open. Stick in your sequence, pat it down, and then go and sew that real quick. So you're gonna form your pocket. Then this square, let's just say this is a whole square like this one, a whole square. Then you're gonna take your little squares, your two squares, okay? And you're gonna put it about one eighth. You're gonna sew there. Once that is sewing, then you can, um, you can either sew up to make it square or diagonal to make it like mine. Once that is, these two sides are sewing, then you're gonna throw your sequins in the pockets 
and then you're gonna sew you're gonna bring it down once the sequence in the pocket bring it down and then sew your third portion to the pocket and you're gonna be able to fold it over and that'll be your pocket okay then you put your snaps or your velcro and you're good to go now if you make some make sure you tag me because I want to see your wonderful work and if you need me to explain something better or review it better let me know and I'm here for you guys I want to see beautiful projects and I want you guys to make some too so again if you have anything any any questions just let me know and I will answer them for you okay thank you so much for watching my videos I appreciate you all have a wonderful day bye bye